Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through a classic Christmas glam look that I came up with. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me. Without further ado, we are going to jump on into the video. Alright you guys, we are going to be starting with a primer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And this is just in the shade Sheer. I absolutely love this primer and it is also so affordable and that is one of the things I love about it a lot. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. And now I am ready for some foundation. So for foundation, as you can tell, I am darker than usual. I have a spray tan on right now because it was free spray tan week. Like I literally just got one because it was free. I have a darker foundation than the lighter one. Um, the darker one isn't even that dark, but I'm gonna attempt to mix them to create a foundation that matches my skin. But if you've watched literally any of my videos, my foundation never matches. I really need to go just get color matched at like Sephora. Until then, I will just continue to not match. I have the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longer Foundation. I have shade 280 and the shade 320 so I'm gonna attempt to make myself match my foundation. Like I said I do have a spray tan on so that's gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna see if just 320 by itself what that looks like. See even that is darker or lighter than my spray tan. We are gonna go with 320. It's a little... 320 is a little orange, a little too warm toned for me but you know my spray tan is kind of orange so you know it's all right. Actually, this doesn't, once it blends, it doesn't look half bad. It looks a little crazy on camera. Just let me blend it out, guys. Bear with me. Also, I'm using a Real Techniques little makeup sponge. It's my favorite one. I've always wanted to try like a Real, Real Beauty blender. If you guys have ever used a Real Beauty blender, let me know how you like it if I should get one. I don't think they're much more expensive than these. So I'm just going to put this foundation all over my face. This concealer is definitely going to be too light and I don't have any others. So this is what we are going to use. The Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. I am in the shade CN40. So I am just going to put this under my eyes. A line down my nose. A little bit in the middle of my forehead. Chin. And then I am breaking out. So we are going to put a little bit more over here. My skin is looking real lovely lately. And the same beauty blender, but you're just going to blend all that out. Sorry if I keep looking over here. This is where my vanity mirror is. And it's really hard to do my makeup looking in the viewfinder. So, my eyes are very bright underneath. We are going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder all over everywhere. I just put that concealer. And we are going to be taking a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. And putting that literally everywhere. I have super oily skin, so I literally have to apply this everywhere or I will be greasy so fast. After that we are actually going to take the same little makeup sponge and get a little bit on the end and I am going to put that under my eyes. I do have to bake a little bit under here or my concealer and stuff just gets super creasy. While we wait we are going to be trying some new products in this video so I'm very excited. I got sent these to do a TikTok and it is four of Charlotte Tilbury's brow products. I have the clear brow gel and the tinted and then what are these called? Brow lift and brow cheat. So we are going to be trying, I think I'm going to use the clear brow gel and then we are going to try, we are going to be trying the brow lift. These are both in taupe. I'm a little nervous because I've never used these and I have to make a video on them for TikTok. I'm already not good at brows to begin with. If you guys watch my videos, you already know that. 
the end of this is really interesting and i am gonna show you guys what i mean i've never used a pencil shaped like this ignore my nasty gym calluses but that is what that looks like we are gonna take this i'm extremely nervous zoom it in a little bit oh hey guys up close and personal today i'm gonna take this and outline the bottom my brows already have a decent shape by themselves so i don't really need to do a whole lot to shape them i am just gonna go up and kind of feather them at like the back two-thirds of my eyebrow maybe we're gonna line that as well just to create a bit more of an arch and that is how i do my brows i actually really like this product i'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other eyebrow go we have some brows i actually really really like this if you're not very good at eyebrows like i am i highly recommend this product so i will link these down below I'm gonna use that big fluffy powder brush and brush out from underneath the eyeballs we are gonna start with some eyeshadow we are gonna be using the jaclyn hill palette by morphe i'm absolutely obsessed with this palette i use it all the time in my videos it's just such a good neutral palette and i'm not gonna do anything too crazy with the eyeshadow because i'm gonna use a red lip so so i'm gonna take a jh33 brush we are gonna start with this color right here and i am just gonna put that all in my crease and blend it up so we're gonna start in the crease blend it up towards my brow and then the same thing on the other eye We are going to go a little bit darker with this brown shade over here. Same exact brush. And we are going to also keep that in the crease and not go in as far as the first color, but basically do the same thing. Start just in the crease, blend it about two thirds. Then again, same thing on the other eye. Going to bring this shade a little bit more down onto the lid than the first shade was. We are going to try to use this Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and I am just going to use the shade Heaven, which is this top shade here, which is just a really light white shade. Not sure how pigmented it's going to be. This will work. So I am just going to use a Morphe JH41, and just to add a little bit of lightness on top. And then we'll blend that out here in a sec. So then I'm going to take a JH33 and just blend that real quick. I'm going to be taking a JH39 using that first shade underneath the eye. And then I'm going to take a JH42. Did I read that right? Yep, JH42 and this Ofra Madison Miller highlighter. This is in the shade she in the shade C Shimmer. That is a tongue twister. We are gonna be doing that in the inner corners, right underneath the brows, just to make those pop. And that is all we were doing with eyeshadow. Now we're gonna go with some bronzer. I'm gonna use this sugar contour mini bronzer in the shade 02 Woody Wonder. I used to talk about this a long time ago, and then I really got into the Hula bronzer but this has been one of my favorites for a while. I got this in an Ipsy and I just absolutely love it. We're gonna do my cheeks, a little bit on this each side of my nose and then get that forehead nice and bronzed. I absolutely love bronzer. Bronzer is probably one of my favorite products to use. Just love it. So much for blush i'm gonna be using my billion dollar beauty box blush let me see if i can pick it up and let y'all know what shade this is in the shade romance i think it is the perfect amount of pigment because i don't like blushes too bright but this one i feel like is just just bright enough i'm gonna do a little bit on the nose and a little bit 
on the forehead and that was a Jaclyn Hill JH04 and then my bronzer brush was a Farrah Contour 218M. And for highlighter, I'm totally not using a highlighter brush and I'm very well aware of it, but I don't know where my highlighter brush went and I just for some weird reason have not bought another one, but I'm using a Morphe JH07 in the same Ofra Madison Miller highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, I cannot remember where I got it. I think it might have been a FabFitFun because it's not uh, it's not travel size, so I don't think I got this as an Ipsy, but for some weird reason, I really think I got it in Ipsy. For setting spray, I'm going to use the Ciate London Watermelon Burst. This stuff is so good and it smells phenomenal. All right, and that is the face. We're going to go back to the eyes and apply some eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Eyeliner in the shade Black and just going to do a thin little line. I'm going to be using this Kiss Clear Lash Glue Liner. I absolutely love this stuff. I also have it in black. They sent it to me in freaking PR. Like the fact that I got PR from Kiss, like blows my mind we are going to be using these lashes by the cream shop these are called bougie i absolutely love these they are just phenomenal i got these at tj maxx they were literally five dollars at tj maxx you can't beat that i'm using a light coat of mascara this is the Too faced better than sex this is just a little travel size one that i'm trying to use up i'm gonna go ahead and apply a line of this since this is clear, you can literally apply it as thick as you want because it's not going to show up. The first set is on. I absolutely love these. We're going to go ahead and apply the other eye. All right, so the lashes are on. They are really huge on camera. They really like overtake my eyeshadow, but I swear they don't look like that in real life. I don't know why the camera just picks up certain stuff super weird. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel by Charlotte Tilbury and seal my brows down. For lipstick, we are going to be using my favorite red lipstick of all time, and that is Fenty Beauty in the shade Uncensored. I love this red lipstick. I don't use a lip liner, which is probably really bad, but it's all right. Alright, so the red lipstick is on and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.